mean, this, this is unbelievable. There's no city like this in the world. You're in love with a fantasy. I'm in love with you. What are you, what are you oh, doing here? <laughs> Dad's here in business, and we just decided to reload a little. <laughs> oh. That's great. We can spend some time together. Well, I, I think nice. we have a lot of commitments, but I'm sure it's... We'll, what? It wasn't like work, really. You know, you, you're filming a, a Woody Allen film. Uh, you're in Paris, and not only in Paris, but you get to sort of film in the most wonderful locations there. Gorgeous, um, memorable, and uh, yeah, it was lovely. You know, the, the access that we had, every scene that we did was a, some other great, you know, tourist area, but we had it all to ourselves. I mean, it's everything that you see in the film, you know, that's all really there. It is a very romantic, uh, stunning place. You know, we're doing a scene uh, in front of Monet's paintings of the water lilies and, you know, had the whole room to ourselves to be able to just, uh, you know, commune with this amazing artwork when normally there'd be thousands of people in there. If I'm not mistaken, Rodin's work was influenced by his wife, Camille. Rose was the wife. No, he was never married to Rose. I hope you're not going to be as antisocial tomorrow. I'm not quite as taken with him as you are. I mean, he's a pseudo-intellectual. Slightly more tannic than the 59. I prefer a smoky feeling. I, I'd been led to believe that maybe he doesn't give so much direction to the actors and he lets them sort of do whatever they want, but uh, my experience was that he was very hands-on with the direction, and I, not just with me, but with other people in the scenes, and uh, the notes he gave were so precise and so um, incisive, I thought, and, and really useful for, for the actors. You just spend two minutes with him, and I don't know, he cracked me up all the time, um, and I think, I think he gets comedy, and I think... It's so much about playing it serious. Why are you so dressed up? I was just doing a little writing. You dress up and put on cologne to write? Because you know how I think better in the shower and I get the, the positive ions going in there? I had a private detective follow him. Now what happened? I don't know. The detective agency says the detective is missing. I'm in a very perplexing situation.